Well, the FBI <laughs> is asking for help connecting victims to this man you see right up now on your screen. This is Samuel Little. He confessed to 93 murders, making him the most prolific serial killer in U.S. history. Now, three of his victims were picked up in Tennessee, one in Knox County. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith tells us this connection to the Knox County victim could be the answer to a decades long cold case. Shannon. Robin, Martha Cunningham's body was found in a wooded area in East Knox County in 1975. She was a 25 year old woman at the time actively involved in her church and investigators then said she died of natural causes. Well, it turns out that wasn't the case. 79 year old Samuel Little spent almost half his life killing women. So I just pulled out a car and laid on that trash that was lit. The FBI says Little admitted he strangled 93 victims between 1970 and 2005. I grabbed my legs and pulled them to the water. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that I ever killed by drowning. Authorities were not able to connect many of the victims to Little until recently, like 25-year-old Knox County victim Martha Cunningham. I think she ministered to him and that that she had uh, probably uh, went out with him because she was last seen on New Year's Eve 1974. Former cold case investigator David Davenport is one of the people who connected Cunningham's death to Little. He tried to pick out uh, prostitutes or drug addicts. Miss uh, Cunningham didn't fit that profile. She was real active in the church, sang in the church. Two hunters found her body three weeks after she disappeared in a wooded area in East Knox County. Investigators originally said Cunningham died of natural causes. I'm assuming that because they found medication for seizures, they probably decided she had some kind of seizures. But she was found covered up with brush with her underwear around her ankles. Everything gave an indication of a homicide. Davenport says local agencies won't press additional charges. Little is already sentenced to die in jail. There's going to be a special place in hell for Samuel Little, and um, he'll get his judgment there. Little told the FBI he killed another woman aside from Cunningham in the Knoxville area, but area law enforcement have not been able to verify that claim. Robin John.